What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's finally time for a studio tour. If you missed my last video I did, my apartment tour at my last place I lived at, you guys smashed that video, you guys loved it. So I'm doing a studio tour in my new apartment. There's gonna be two parts to these videos. This one right here is going to be my studio just where I film and whatnot so you can see the sneaker setup and all of that. Then I'm gonna be doing a part two with the closet where I edit all that kind of stuff. So you guys will see that coming up soon. But I got a couple different variations of this setup right here that I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. There's a few different variations of this setup. We've got this one right here and then there's a second variation where I'm sitting down or I can also stand up in that setup as well. But I'm gonna show you that after this one. I'm gonna go ahead and break down all the aspects of this whole setup so you guys can see all the stuff that I have to put it together and if you guys want to copy any of this stuff you can. Let's go ahead and start breaking down the setup. The main attraction in my opinion would be this couch right here. This is from Amazon. $180 and it came with free prime shipping which is really nice but it doubles as a futon as well so it folds out to a full size bed. Now I don't use this for sleeping or anything just because it's not the best, it's not the most comfortable and I think if I use something like that every single day it would wear down pretty easily but I really only use it for filming and when I'm watching a movie in here or anything like that. Let's go ahead and break down the shelving unit on the left and tell you guys about everything inside of it. Now this is gonna change when I go to the next setup. You guys can see on top we have the Yeezy Season 2 crepe boots or crepe boots, whatever you wanna call them. Then when we get down into the shelving units, as you can see we have a lot of shoe boxes. I'd rather store my shoe boxes there rather than putting them just in my closet. I can have a nice little presentation, some of my favorite boxes, that is not all of them. Then we have a few different plants throughout. Most of these are from my Kia or from Target, pretty cheap. I just like the green because it's a nice little switch up of colors just from black and all the regular colors. Then we just have a few different things like the Creptec shelf. I have a bunch of Creptec there. That's not all of my Creptec, but I just like to have a nice little presentation of some there just if I ever need to grab some. I also have more in my apartment to use. So don't worry, that is just a nice little presentation and I'm trying to give away some Creptec to you guys so I'm not just hoarding it for myself. There's a few different miscellaneous things throughout. We have like a nice little Power Ranger action figure. Grew up loving Power Rangers. Grew up watching Power Ranger, so I thought it'd be cool to put a nice little action figure there. Then we have a Kanye West edition Surface magazine. Got that last week. It's just a nice little visual magazine. Has pictures and stuff throughout. I just like that whole magazine vibe. We've got a few things like that, so I decided to throw it in there. Then of course we have the floating shelf behind me as well as the pictures. The floating shelf is from Ikea as well. $15, very simple setup. I love that shelving unit. I actually have two in my room. And then we have the pictures above. Those are from Max Merch. If you guys didn't know, I put them in my last video where I did a room tour. Go ahead and check them out. I just wanna let you guys know they're doing a big 25% off sale, a flash sale for the next week from this Thursday to next Thursday. Go ahead and check out some of their stuff. They've got some super dope prints. I got the frames right here. Those ones are from Walmart, five bucks each. And then we got a few other pictures I'm gonna show you guys if you wanna switch it up a little bit. These next pictures have a different vibe. They're in some nicer frames from Target that cost $10 each. So you can see we have Antisocial Social Club, we have Palace, and we have Supreme. There's a few different pictures you guys can go with. These are just some different brands. I know a lot of you guys like different things. If you like the Kanye vibe, go ahead, go with that. If you just like the Supreme vibe, they have a whole bunch of stuff from Supreme, from Babe, Palace, all that kinds of stuff. So you guys can check them out and I'll link everything down below if it is still available online. For the shelving unit on the right, it is pretty simple. It just has a few shoes there. I like to rotate my sneakers throughout that shelf and the shelf behind me. When I move it to my next setup, I'm gonna double up on each shelf so I can have a little bit more presented for the videos, but that is it for that shelf. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next setup. I'm gonna probably do a time lapse so you guys can see how much time it takes me to switch everything out. It's not too bad, but I don't really care because I like the way that it looks. You guys will be able to see the difference in the setups. I'll probably be sitting down for the next shot because I think it looks better that way. But lately the ladies been loving the flow. I know they feel in the crush. Four in the morning, I'm still in the booth. Young and sunny, yeah. Sleep is overrated. Where them thotties at? Keep me Here's the second setup as you guys can see. I actually like this one a little bit better because sitting down while filming is a little bit more comfortable. I could stand while filming with this setup but I think it's a little bit better when I'm sitting. And with the other setup, if I'm sitting down, I could sit down and film, but there's nothing really in the background, just white walls. So I think this looks better because I got some clothes in there. I've got the shelves over here, some shoes. I think it all comes together pretty good. I could have gone with another one of these shelves behind here, but I decided to throw this one in just because I didn't want the look of the exact same thing. So I think everything looks good. I also doubled up on shoes on these shelves, so I think it looks good. Technically, I have four different setups, which is good for filming. I have sitting down and standing up in this setup, and the same thing for the other setup. So that's four. 
before, I think it's nice to have a few different setups to go to just because it gets a little bit redundant after a few videos. So I wanna be able to switch it up. I'm really liking the way this works. I could also use this as a bed if I wanted to, but I don't really use it because it's not comfortable really at all and it's just too small. Let me know in the comments down below which setup you guys like best so I can use that in the future when I'm filming. That's gonna wrap it up for this studio setup right here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I'll be having a closet, more of a room tour coming up soon. I just wanted to break it into two videos so it's not insanely long and you guys get more details and specifics on this video. Again, I'll link everything down below if it is still available online. Most of this stuff you might be able to find in store as well. I'm gonna try to link everything down below so if you guys wanna cop any of these pieces, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and also tweet me a picture of your guys' setup if you have something better, if you think I should get a specific item so I can improve my setup. That's gonna wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that thumbs up button down below for part two, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison. Friendly, yeah. Now I'm jumping out of bailing, yeah.